Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing two of the new products that just came out in the new Marc Jacobs Summer 2020 collection. It is his gold collection. So if you are interested in seeing my thoughts on the products as well as how I got this eye look, then just keep watching. It has been a hot minute, I feel like, since I've purchased some Marc Jacobs goodies. A lot of the stuff they've been coming out with hasn't caught my eye. This is the first time in a while where I'm like, ooh, I need to pick up some of the stuff. So this collection, as of now, is relatively small. It is mostly based around gold, so you have a lot of gold packaging here. There are four different types of products at the moment from this collection. I purchased two of them so quickly. I'm going to go over the other two items that are in this collection that I don't have. So he came out with five of the high eyeliner gel eye crayon. These are very, very nice. I have a few. They are pricey. They are $26 each. And honestly, I just didn't need another cream pencil eyeliner. So that's why I didn't purchase these. And all of these colors are based around gold shades like brass, gold, glitter shade, and olive shade. Just colors that I didn't need and I didn't feel like spending $26 on. But if there is a color that speaks out to you, these are a very good product. They are a very popular eyeliner for a reason and I do like the quality of them. Just I didn't need any of those colors. There also is the Atlashed Lengthening and Curling Mascara. I know there's a lot of reviews about this right now. I was this close to getting it but I have so many mascaras. I just did not need another one in my collection. But that's going to be $27. So now let's get into the items that I did buy. So I bought a new eyebrow product. It's been a long time since I bought an eyebrow product. Product, so I thought it would be appropriate to do it and this is the brow wow duo brow powder pencil and tinted gel And then I also got the new eyeshadow palette, which is the iconic multi finish eye palette in extravagance Look at this so beautiful. So let's get into the details with the eyebrows so I can get my eyebrows on. Like I said, this is the Brow Wow Duo. From what I've seen, this is available at Sephora right now. I will link any other places it is available. I personally purchased mine from the Marc Jacobs website. So let's go over the details of this guy. Basically what this product is, it is a two-in-one brow pencil uh, and tinted gel. So you have a tinted gel on one side, which is going to be on the shorter end. And then on the other side, you have a pencil, which is supposed to be a soft powder like pencil to quickly fill in and shape. This says it doesn't need sharpened and it's for full natural looking fluffy brows which is very on trend. This guy is $39. The pencil has a lifespan of 12 months and the gel has a six month lifespan. I got mine in the shade medium brown. There are five shades. There's a taupe, a light brown, a medium brown, dark brown, and a black. So I think that's a decent shade range to start off with for a first time product. Also something really neat about this I thought in the box it actually comes with an additional brow pencil refill this I didn't read when I purchased it so I was surprised when this popped out just for comparison really quickly the pencil has 0.1 grams of product whereas just for example a benefit precisely my brow this guy has 0 0.08 grams in it so I believe that the refill isn't counted in the actual weight of the product so 0 0.1 grams this is actually more than a benefit precisely my brow and then you have an additional refill so that actually makes the value of this way better if you ask me compared to the benefit pencil especially since you also get a gel enough talking about that let me zoom in here uh, in case you were curious about shade range or color comparisons I did swatch medium brown next to four in the Benefit pencil. These are very, very close. The Benefit pencil is a little bit more waxy, so if you use a light hand, it looks like it's a different color than the Marc Jacobs, but if you actually put some pressure on it, it ends up being the same shade. So you actually have a little bit more ability to go light versus dark with the Benefit formula. I'll get into that in a second. I have been wearing this brow pencil for the past couple of days, so I have some experience with it. It's not a first impression. So I'm just going to brush my eyebrows up and we are going to start off with the pencil side. Can't sharpen this, but it is a slender pencil. The only thing I don't like is I'm so used to using slim pencils that have a slim top. It feels a bit odd that this is small, but the actual component is big. I don't really like the way it feels in my hand as much as I would a thin one. And also for size comparison, you can see the benefit precisely my brow is much more precise than the Marc Jacobs would be, but they both are very small, but just note that the 
benefit is smaller. I would say that where I disagree about this pencil formula is they are really marketing it as a powder-like product. I personally find it to be a little bit more creamy. Now I think this is a good formula but you have to use a light hand especially if you got a darker color because it does deposit the color that you see on the pencil right away. Like I said the benefits a bit more waxy so if you use a lighter hand you get a lighter color. This no matter how much pressure you use you are getting that dark color so just be careful with that as far as application. So I just think it honestly is a creamier formula. It deposits more color and I don't think that's bad at all. It's just something to be aware of and I'm going to blend it out. I don't Want to do anything too too defined but as you can see very very simple application i'm using a very light hand to get it down because i don't want my eyebrows to look too crazy i do wish the pencil was a little bit smaller and more precise like the benefit only because that's what i'm really used to i don't really like too fat of a pencil i do think that this is going to run through pretty quickly as well that's why i think it's great that they added a refill and that makes it more worth it because i can see myself going through this pretty fast because to me it is just more creamy so you go through it quicker especially if you have a lot of brow to draw on but i do like how it blends in with a spoolie. You can kind of change how it looks a little bit based on how hard you brush your eyebrows out. And I think it's just a really nice consistency. And as far as the pencil goes, I'm very happy with it. Let's take a look over at the tinted brow gel side. And I like that it's all in one. I do love a lot of different brow gels, but I really have been liking this. So this is tinted. And the earlier this afternoon, I did try the brow gel out without anything underneath my brows. If you kind of make sure the spoolie is clean you can get a really simple almost clear brow gel just to kind of shape your eyebrows but if you do put on a heavier layer you will see the tint and you can use the tint to kind of fill in the sparse areas on your brow the more you glop on the more hard your eyebrows are going to feel but if you don't like that hard feeling to really set it down if you use a little bit of the brow gel it is also very very nice still so when I fill in my brows I don't like to put too much of the brow gel on but if I choose not to fill in my brows and I I just want some of this gel. I really like it because it's not too colorful. The ABH brow gel that is very potent I feel and that you can get a fully done brow look. With this you cannot and I think that's okay because if you mess up you know how with the brow gels you can kind of see the brown that got on your skin. You really don't see that with this. I feel like I have a lot more control with this. So I think this is much more easy to use than the ABH tinted brow gel. So with just the amount that I put my brows stay in place and they feel really nice. So I'm gonna zoom out really quickly. I mean, so overall, I really do enjoy this brow product. I think it's very good and I definitely am going to be continuing my use with it. I like how just easy and all-in-one it is. Now let's move into what is the most exciting part for me and that is the new iconic eyeshadow palette that's out in his line and it is the Extravagance palette. I have not bought one of these in forever. It feels like it's been at least a couple of years since I've purchased a Marc Jacobs palette. These used to be a big deal and I feel like people stopped talking about it, but this color story if you like neutral colors, you're going to be so excited about this one. So this is $49. It is limited edition. It is made in USA. And I don't think I mentioned this, but the eyebrow pencil is made in Japan. And in here you are getting seven shades. You are, you're getting four shimmer shades. You're getting one matte with a lot of those micro glitters in it and then two matte shades. Online it says this is a limited edition palette with seven shades from unexpected neutrals to smoky shimmers for gilded looks decked out in luxe gold stripes. This eyeshadow palette covers lid in the same velvety rich super plush pigment of the original iconic palettes. Style your eyes with its four fashion finishes. Buttery mattes which are going to be these. Shimmering satin, sparkling silk, and then their metallic shades. So that's how they're describing it. Matte, shimmer, shimmery satin, and then three metallics. By the way, this is also paraben-free, sulfate-free, and here are the swatches. All of these shades swatch really beautifully, very buttery. I am in love with the metallic shades. They have some microfine glitter in there that I think are going to pull really dimensional on the eye. I'm just really, really excited, you guys. As far as the color story, I am loving it. You just have two simple basic mattes. You have a deep defining shade, and then you pop the shimmer on the lid, so it's really easy, thoughtless palette. I like the 
a smaller, more condensed color story, and you can do a lot of different fun neutral looks with this. Now, there is a similarity that I do want to talk about. Instantly, when I looked at this, I thought of the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes palette. So if you can see, they basically have the same kind of color story. You have a pop of olive, you have some shimmery browns, you have creams, browns, all of that good stuff. Obviously, the Artist Couture has more shades. It has 12 shades as opposed to the 5 in the Marc Jacobs. So I did swatch them side by side. The Marc Jacobs is on top and the Artist Couture is on the bottom. I chose the most similar shades. You can pretty much get the same look with the Marc Jacobs that you can with the Artist Couture. I would say the differences are there wasn't exact dupes for any of the shades, but they were definitely family members, definitely sisters, not twins, but you definitely can get the same looks with both palettes. Also the texture as far as the metallics in the Marc Jacobs are different just because the Artist Couture doesn't have the really blingy metallic foiled formula in it. It has a beautiful creamy shimmery shiny formula but there's an extra little dimension and pizzazz to the colors in the Marc Jacobs which makes me like it more but of course you have more variety with this but if you're balling on a budget and you have the Artist Couture you probably don't need the Marc Jacobs. So let's come on in and try this baby on already so I can stop talking. The look I'm doing is not revolutionary, but I feel it lets me get a good idea of these shadows. And if you're buying this palette, you probably don't want to do crazy looks anyways. I'm quickly just going to start off with a bit of the cream shade here. And I'm going to set my underbrows. And as you can see, we're very pigmented. There's a little bit of kickback with this if you were curious. So it's a softer matte. And now we're going to go into the second shade, which is just a very simple taupey shade. And for me, this is essential in any palette. A cream shade, and a brown shade like this. If it contains any sort of wearable colors, you need to have these two colors. So I'm happy they incorporated these. And I mean, as you can see, it's blending out just fine. So I'm just applying that to my crease and then I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to run this along my lower lash line. If room would allow for it, I would like a dark matte brown, but we are gonna go in with this shade right here. I'm going to take that and I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of my eye and I'm going to blend it in. With the leftover product, we're gonna start blending that into the upper part of the crease, wiping up my brush off just a little bit so that we can get to blending instead of applying more shadow. And as you can see, I'm kind of blending the black in everywhere. Uh, we are going for a bit more of a dramatic eye because I really wanted to test out how this black worked. The shimmers are basically all gone. I'm sure if you pressed and didn't buff, the shimmers would stay. But if you're blending, they kind of just go away and it blends out relatively easy. I wouldn't say it's the best black I've ever used in my life, but it's a solid black. I'm gonna take the tip of a brush and I'm gonna run a little bit very close to my lower lash line and we're gonna blend that a little bit and then of course I wanted to take this glittery olive shade and this shade does have some fallout so be prepared for that but honestly you guys it is absolutely stunning. I would recommend using your finger for application just like I am because I think if you use a brush it could get a little bit messy. If you must use a brush I would use it wet just to make sure all of the dimension actually sticks to your eyelid and just be prepared for a touch of fallout. It's gonna happen but it applies beautifully with so much ease. I didn't really have to go in and build it up. It's just there and I'm gonna take a little bit of the gold which by the way this gold came kind of broken but I pressed it back in and it was fine and it's layering over the olive color really beautifully and it's adding an extra element to the eyelid. You guys see how pretty that is and it was so easy to achieve. This is so gorgeous and then I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner of the eyelid. So these shades can get a little bit messy because they're a little bit crumbly, but that's the price you pay for getting such strong, beautiful dimension on the lid. So I'm going to do liner and lashes and I'll be back for my final thoughts on this whole collection. Okay, so with lashes and liner and all of that good stuff, here is the final look. Very, very smoky, but it doesn't need to be smoky. You didn't need to add that black. I am very impressed with both of the products from this collection that I purchased. Cannot speak on the mascara and the eyeliners are really good. 
but they're just gold so I didn't want to purchase them but I know for a fact they are a good formula the eyebrow pencil and duo I think is totally worth the money I think it's really nice and this definitely is going to be in part of my everyday rotation I think they did a nice job with that and then the eyeshadow palette I am absolutely in love with now maybe you know it's not the most special unique palette but I think the formulations in here are really good it's very solid quality the dimension that you get from the shadows is really beautiful it's just a solid palette and if you like these colors I think that you will like this I think what makes this palette very special is that you don't need to think too hard to create a look and whatever look you get it's going to be glittery and glam and gorgeous because all you have to do is put this in the crease and pop any of these colors on the lid and you're good to go it's just an easy thoughtless palette and that is what makes this palette special it's going to be good so the quality thumbs up for this very happy with how this collection turned out so if you have any questions do not hesitate to comment them down below thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you found it helpful make sure you subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and you would like to see more videos from me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.